two months ago, we aired a segment on picnic tips. Later, a viewer sent us an email saying, as a black person, she found the word picnic offensive. And that led to a passionate discussion in our newsroom about whether the word should be used. Local 12 assignment editor Michaela Boyd studied the issue in college. Here's her report, and some may find the details difficult to hear. It comes from picnic, uh, which is um, French. And so it is basically a gathering in a green space. Christopher Miller with the Underground Railroad Freedom Center and Dr. Letitia A. Bates, a black history professor at the University of Cincinnati, both can agree that picnic for the black community has a very different meaning to them than to other races. When we think about picnic in the black community, what comes to mind is the symbolic reference of black folks, particularly um, black men, though having not excluded both black women and children, of being lynched um, at what folks would call picnic-like gatherings. In both the 18 and 1900s, lynching black citizens who were sometimes accused of crimes was commonplace in both the North and the South. Dr. Bates says that at some of these lynchings, people would take pictures with the deceased, eat food, hang out with friends, and take body parts for souvenirs. At this ceremony, Miami University officials gathered dirt from the lynching site of a local victim, Henry Corbin. Historian Claire Runkel says that in 1892, Corbin was working for a wealthy white family in Oxford. The newspapers basically put it as is that Henry was this beloved servant of the Horner family and at uh, one night um, snapped and attacked um, Georgiana Horner um, with a, a piece of wood and killed her. Even though Corbin's family maintained his innocence and some people suspected the daughter of killing Georgiana, an angry mob went after him. And he was sheltered um, by the black community. Um, they really tried to prevent his lynching. Claire says Henry was discovered when a small boy who bought bakery rolls was caught feeding them to Henry in a shed. Henry attempted to shoot himself so the mob wouldn't hang him, but he survived. Henry was taken by the police, but then the mob took him from the jail. There was advertisements talking about this lynching as a bloody circus. Um, they really promoted this as like a community event. And, and so once um, they placed the rope around his neck, um, they dragged him um, through the snow into the public park where they then um, hung him, riddled his body with 50 to 400 bullets, and then they left him hanging there. During this time, people were collecting souvenirs. They were, um, you know, collecting curios, like pieces of his clothing, pieces of the rope. It was common lynchings, like the one that happened right here in Oxford, that caused some of the black community to feel like the word picnic was offensive. But I think it needs to be a higher level of sensitivity and empathy towards people who may not be comfortable with the use of that word. Again, that was Michaela Boyd reporting. Following the discussion, Local 12 did not ban the word picnic, but we are open to sub, uh, substituting a different word or phrase depending on personal preference. From local